This is Twit. There is a much covered iOS flaw in the QR code scanner, which was added to the the normal built-in iOS camera app. It's kind of a neat thing that was that we were that we got with the uh, jump to iOS 11, such that just using the camera app rather than needing a third-party QR code scanning app, if the camera sees a chunk of of real estate, which parses out to be a valid QR code, it says, oh, there's a QR code and drops a little message down on the screen saying, you know, tap to go to this site. Well, uh, just before Christmas on December 23rd of 2017, so just over three months ago, it came to a, uh, a German security researcher's attention, a guy by the name of Roman Mueller, uh, that there was a way to spoof these URLs. That is, you could create a QR code which showed one domain name on the screen but took you to a different domain name, which is not good. And 90 days later, this problem is still unpatched. So Roman published his findings. He gave Apple three months to fix this. And I tried it yesterday on my newly updated version 11.3, and it still works. That is, it's still broken. Um, using a URL that that is present in a lot of the coverage of this online, so anybody can find it, uh, and I have the URL here in the show notes, um, when you scan this sample QR code, it's it says you're going to be going to facebook.com, clear as, it, clear as it could be. And when you tap it, it takes you to infosec.rm-it.de, which is Roman's uh, demo page, saying, uh, nope. Now, the problem, of course, is this could be a malicious page spoofing Facebook and no one would be the wiser. So I'm at a complete loss to understand how Apple could have let this be out there for 90 days. Uh, You know, Roman kept quiet. Uh, He let everybody know after 90 days and if you Google iOS QR code bug, there's a huge amount of coverage in the press. So let's hope that this shines a spotlight on it that apparently for I, I can't imagine what Apple is thinking that they haven't fixed this. You know, this is um, this is a bad problem. And uh, essentially it means that the that something is parsing the QR code to get this full URL. But the code that displays where you're going to go is different than the code which takes you there. So I, I you know, I can't understand how Apple has not fixed this, but it, it, they haven't. And now the world knows about it. So now it can start getting exploited so because there's no mystery anymore. It's this is trivial to do. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if bad guys are not thinking, you know, how can we fool iOS users with this? So let's hope that Apple gets this thing fixed quickly now that they seem to have not given it the attention that I would argue uh, it needs. 